The objective of this series is to build a dashboard that you can see in front of you. This is from the ECDC, the European Centre for Disease Prevention and Control. It's the EU's body for public health. And what they've done is they've built a public dashboard that looks at the COVID-19 situation worldwide, not just for the EU. And it's basically various views on the data, which is countries and by country, by date, uh, the number of deaths and the number of cases. Let's have a look at the data in more detail. The data for those dashboards is available from this page here. Both the links to both pages are in the comments below. If we go down, we can see a lot of download buttons. It's the same data, but in different formats. We are going to actually download it from CSV. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say copy link. And then I'm just going to paste that link into another tab and it will bring back that raw data set. We'll look at it in a minute in the query editor, but for now we can see it's a regular data set. It's got by date, by country, it's got the number of cases and number of deaths and some information about the country as well which continent it's on and so on. Let's import the data into Power BI and into the query editor and have a look at it. So I'm going to get data from the web and I'm going to paste in that URL that we've just seen from the ECDC data. There we go. Let's have a look at the data. Let's go into transform data and this will bring us into the query editor. Now we're looking at it in the query editor. What we can see is that we've got a date column and then three columns which we don't need because that spits the date into day, month, year. We've already got the information. The number of cases, the number of deaths for a particular country and it's got both uh, a two-letter country code and uh, a three-letter country code, the population of the country in 2018 and the continent. Let's improve this data set. I'm going to rename it to base and I'm going to remove these three columns. We don't need them because we've got the date and then I'm going to rename all of the columns. I've changed the name of the columns to make them a bit more consistent and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to base those column profiling on the entire data set rather than the top 1000 rows. It's done that. For example, we can have a look at continent. We can see there's 13,000 rows there and we can look at the various continents. Apparently a country has a continent of other. We can look at the country column as well. We can see as we might expect the same number of, of rows for each country. If we have a look at uh, United States of America and United Kingdom, notice there's an underscore there uh, where maybe a space should be and we can correct that. Now, this data set is really two tables. There's one table which is updated every day, which is our kind of fact table. And for every country, every date, it has the, the number of cases and the number of deaths. And then we've got another table that is really a static table. It's a one row, it should be one row for every country. And it's got some attributes of the country, various ISO codes, the population in 2018 and the continent that it's on. What we're going to do later is split those apart. Before we improve our data set, let's just do some quick visualizations. I will close and apply, and that will take us back into Power BI proper. And maybe let's have a look at the number of cases by country as a bar chart. We can see there's quite a skewed distribution. And also maybe let's plot those on a map. And I'll just put my cases there in my size. And so we've got a couple of visualizations straight away. What we're going to do in future sessions is to really improve the data set, make some really good visualizations like the ones that we've seen in the ECDC dashboard. I hope you'll join me for those.